Okay, so I'm finishing up 2019. Uh, got the new PJ here. Uh, absolutely loving it. First impressions are great. I love all the grease circs on it. So thank you, PJ, for, you know, letting us actually maintain our equipment, keep it for years on end. So I really do like that. And there's grease. All these hinges got grease fittings. My jack has grease fittings. Obviously my axles have we uh, grease fittings. Um, tons of storage. Love these high sides. I didn't want to have to screw with having to build wood sides up. This is just great uh, for mulch and you know doing this kind of work. Uh, you know I could have went with a low profile trailer or lower profile but uh, not really my needs you know. So uh, the only concern I might have with this trailer is I heard that the paint on them can be kind of iffy but uh, the, really, the paint on this one don't look all that bad. Um, spare tire holder. Uh, loving it. So, I, I just love everything. I mean, that's my old dump trailer over there. Really small. I bought it only because I only had a half ton at the time. And I couldn't pull a trailer this size with a half ton pickup. Especially loaded. Uh, so, this, trailer's all pro this trailer will probably max out my three quarter ton pickups, even my diesel. I mean, you get this thing full, it's gonna be heavy. So I, I, I don't know what the empty weight of it is, but I imagine it's probably about 4,500 pound trailer empty. Uh, but I do love the, the build, you know, I love how this is all, all this fits together. Let's, uh, I'm gonna dump this. This ain't much, this is kind of laughable, but uh, the funny thing is, is it's laughable, but that same amount of debris there would have filled that trailer over there up, and I mean that would have that little bit of debris there would have filled that trailer probably almost the top of those boards. So uh, that's why I bought this. I mean, you can I can do multiple cleanups and not have to go dump or worry about dumping, you know. So. I uh, love it. it. Has the D rings in it, so if you know you want to pull a bobcat or a tractor, uh, yeah, you can probably almost haul a mini excavator in this. I don't know if you could balance it out properly, but uh, you know it has the built-in ramps. It has the ramps. They're not built in. They just slide in there when you're done with them. Um, you know they're nothing really that special, but uh, it did come with them, so. Uh, came from Mays Trailers, New Whiteland. Um, so let's go ahead and dump this. So one of the things I really like, what I really like with this trailer, when I first bought it, I, I swore I thought that these were bent. Like I literally thought that this was like, not the way it was supposed to be, but uh, you know, I love it because you know, you ain't gotta, you know, pull a pin out and then put it back in to keep your doors open. You know, all you gotta do is simply go, and that's it. It's locked in. I'll show you another feature here. This ain't nothing new to people that have on PJ trailers. But, you know, I mean, the fit is just perfect. That's that. Let's dump this. I don't know if this battery's fully charged up. I, haven't, I didn't charge it when I got home. I just bought this thing yesterday. State. Right. You would think that would be the opposite with the way the cord is. I don't know if this is fully charged. I don't really know how you tell. I've never had something this nice. Yeah, this, this one does have the scissor lift. I wanted the scissor lift. I didn't want the dual cylinder. I didn't want the telescoping cylinder in the front. Uh, definitely didn't just want a single cylinder. I wanted the scissor lift. And the reason why all big dumb trucks have scissor lifts. The only thing, I, this will be my first time actually dumping something out of this. And I'm kind of worried that's going to bottom out. Maybe not.
that's it. That's full. And I did like how it came with the tarp. The five inch cylinder. Grease fittings in there, obviously. I think the finish is honestly pretty nice on this. I mean, I know that people have been bitching that they've been peeling and this and that, but I'm gonna spray that rust shit on there and hopefully that'll keep that from happening. I mean, it's a trailer, so it's gonna get chips and scratches in it, so I ain't really concerned about it, but, but yeah. Yeah, that little bit. But like I said, that little bit will fill that trailer up no 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 problem. So up in here. I don't know. I need to put it on the charger. I just haven't because I just got it. So I just I didn't get around to charging it. So I don't know if that's as fast as it goes up or not. Like I said, I'm new to this. this thing alike it's heavy duty it's an expensive trailer but got it for a pretty good price so and then you just simply of course I got my phone in my hand but just pull that up those hinges definitely need grease on them I don't think those have ever been greased. They've never have been. Um, so that's something to do. Yeah, up close is a lot better. I think this one, they had just got these. sucks but oh, well. so yeah that's the PJ uh, maze trailer sales I'd recommend them to anyone they're good people uh, yeah the other thing I did like uh, this is also a tailgate spreader um, when they're shut like that you all you gotta do is you know pull that back you can kind of see it open up I'm holding my phone so I can't lift the tailgate, but all you got to do is that lever down, set your tailgate, and you go. So, about the only other th feature I think I would have liked is, uh, of course, uh, this trailer don't got it, is if you could, you know, bring this whole thing down and have it as a ramp, but uh, that's a lot more engineering, so, but yeah. I think this is going to be a good trailer. I mean, I love it. I love these high sides. I love the build of it. Uh, heavy duty as hell. So, uh, still need to get it set up. Need to get that emergency brake set up. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the only other thing I need to do is I need to either flip my ball upside down and turn my ball around on that hitch, or I need to lower that hitch down because. Uh, you might not be able to tell it too bad now that it's empty. You can tell it on the road. Yeah, you can't tell it bad at all here, but that's because we're on the uneven ground. 
but anyway, it's 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 nose diving, so I need to either lower the nibs or put my ball up. Anyway, just sharing my two cents on that PJ trailer. I really like it. I'm impressed. Uh, we'll see what it does down the road. I'm ready to use it for next year. Just wish we could skip over winter. So, you boys, have a good one.